Hey guys, what's going on Greenville Gear? Um, thought I would do a video today of my autographed baseball cards. Um, I think I've shown in a video in the past some in a binder that I have, but these are the ones that I kind of have in my PC box, uh, old and top loaders. And I don't think I've ever shown these on camera, so I thought it might be kind of fun. And I watched um, Rob Hirsch do a video where he went through all of his autographs. He's got a way better collection than me, but I thought it would be fun to show these off and, and uh, give you a sense of what's in my collection. So um, let's get into it. I think this is pretty much the whole stack. Um, it's, you know, it's not a huge collection, but it'll be fun to show because um, these are the ones I, these are the ones I really like. Um, the first <clears throat> and the top sticker is never very helpful, but a tier one talent, um, Alex Bregman, still on the sealed tops, um, numbered to 150. I just like him as a player it's unfortunate about the uh, cheating scandal and so on but I thought after the season he had last year and so on before the scandal really broke I was picking up some of his cards and was happy to get this one and similarly I got this one so it's actually a different photo so that's kind of cool um, this one is also numbered to 150 and I like these tier one talent autos because it seems like they're more affordable maybe they're less um desirable for collectors and speculators and those kinds of folks but to me i i think it's cool to have those and i didn't have to spend a fortune on them um got a couple of nice i had this one as my uh, background for a while on the channel um a couple of nice robles autographs this is um national treasures to 99 uh victor robles um uh, one of my favorite autograph cards, and I know that Panini has, you know, no license and those kinds of things, but I just love this on card with the white background and the blue ink, and I just think this is a really spectacular card. So I picked this one up maybe last summer, something like that. So, and again, this is kind of fun because I don't think I've shown a lot of these or maybe any of these on camera. So uh, that was that one. Uh, another Robles I have is this orange... And I've got to think about whether or not I do these. Now, these are optics, and so these aren't, you know, again, they're unlicensed. But that's a prism. And orange, is it numbered? This one, no, this one's not numbered. But still, what a card, huh? On-card auto. Pretty cool. And this is another one, not a prism. Um, so this is, must be just the, the base silver of the optics. So it's basically the same card. This one's the orange one in the prism, and then this one is just the regular silver, but they're both super cool, I think. A guy I kind of PC, I saw him once play in a spring training game in Florida, and I just couldn't believe how amazing he was. And, and you know, there was a time when he was one of the better players in baseball, Hanley Ramirez. And so this, this one is a Bowman's Best, numbered, as you see here, to five. I got this as an absolute steal, because I don't think a lot of people really collect Hanley Ramirez but man what a player and that is just a beautiful autograph and, and those kinds of things so this is uh 2015 um Bowman's Best so happy to have that one in the collection this is a Vladimir Guerrero um on card this I pulled out of a pack in archives I think so I was super stoked to have that one it's a pretty nice card and there's some desire in the hobby for this card I don't think I'm gonna sell it though just too cool of a card that one went right in the PC. And uh, again, they were, that was the year of archives. They were doing the special inserts of the Expos. Great signature. <clears throat> Super wide on that. Next one is, um, and I got this one a while ago, probably at a pretty good price. I suspect it'd be more now. I'm not sure. Uh, Ozzy Albee's Tier 1 Talent um, on card. Uh, numbered to 100, as you see there. Great signature. Right on the card. Super sweet. So I was stoked to pick that one up, and that one is just going to live in the PC as well. A guy I definitely PC is Rafael Devers from the Red Sox. This is number 49. This is an immaculate. Again, kind of like that Robles. You know, Panini product, but on card, dual patch. I mean, what a beauty. So I, you know, the license thing doesn't bother me so much on some of these autos when they're just this um, fantastic, I think. And that's a pretty fantastic card. So excited about um, that one. There's another tier one. This is 
another Devers. This one's number 200. This is my most recent pickup. I might have actually shown this one on the channel, but um, number to 200. So totally dig this one, and this one was a steal as well. Um, this is a Topps one, so he's got the proper red Red Sox jersey. Really nice card. Dig that one a lot. Here's another one. I actually have a few of these, and I'm uh, they're in my maybe possibly submit because I've got a few that are numbered. Um, this one's not numbered, but that's a Devers, and I think that's a cool pose, and it's a sticker auto and those kinds of things. So, and like I said, I've got a few versions of this that are orange and I think maybe a green or uh, aqua or something like that that are numbered, but this is kind of the base auto, and I picked this up probably last summer and happy to get it. This was a cool one. Pulled this one out of archives. This is Joe Pepitone, Yankees uh, legend, and uh, or certainly part of Yankees lore, but what a neat card, huh? So there it is. Great signature, too. Joe really did it on a nice, you know, thick blue. It's awesome. So love that one. So that's not going anywhere. This is a guy that I... Um, actually saw a play when I was a kid, hit a home run in Angels Stadium right near me. This is Jim Rice. This is out of a box of Optica that I broke. That was pretty cool. So Jim Rice Auto. And uh, not a sticker, as you see here. So on card. You know, again, kind of a cheesy card, I think, actually. Don't love it. You know, MVP signatures, but I don't think it's the most beautiful card, but that's just a personal taste, but it's cool that it's a Jim Rice Auto. Oh, here's another Devers. I, I, um, this is a Bowman's Best um, on card. And I think I picked this one up pretty decent. Um, and so, you know, the Bowman's Best and the Tier 1 are just not super desirable. I'll put that with the other Devers. But to me, I like them. This was out of a, a box of Optic that I also broke. This is Bobby Richardson. Really cool. You can tell Bobby's getting a little older, right? That's kind of a shaky signature cool though huh and it's actually numbered to 25 really cool so that was kind of a neat one from a old timer i've got two of these and or, or two of this player and it's interesting because i picked these up a year ago and uh, he's done well this year this is kyle lewis bowman's best so that was a pretty sweet one and these could be had very inexpensive, and I'm happy that I got them inexpensive. So there's another one. He was just really doing well at the end of last season, and so I was kind of checking out his stuff and, and kind of liked him. And So this one is an optic, again, unlicensed, but pretty cool. So it's a Kyle Lewis auto, and his signature is kind of, if you can see there, I guess it's Kyle Lewis 5, or is that the S? I'm not sure, because his number doesn't seem to... Anyway, oh, and I never noticed this one um, is a refractor. It's cool. This is why it's fun to do these showcases and also just to look at your card. This is a card I love. It's not, I don't think it's a very valuable card, but I think this is so cool. This is a Rowdy Tellez rated rookie with that, like, I, I don't think it's like cracked ice or anything, but it's just so cool. Um, it's a prism. I just thought that was neat. So not numbered or anything. But I don't know, something about that. You know, sometimes it's about the eye appeal of the card. I like that the signature's in that kind of thick blue. Very cool. Similarly, another card I really like. I love this. What is this, the 82 Tops design? I don't know, I always get this messed up. But Ahmad Rosario from the Mets. Cool signature, beautiful card. This is like the blue variation. Pulled this out of a pack in archives. And as you see here, numbered to 25. I'd thought about maybe getting this one um, graded, but it's got a it's got a corner that I don't love, and I'm pretty yeah, it's not gonna focus. Sorry about that, but I'm I'm pretty tough on my cards in terms of what I'll send, and so I just keep this one on a top loader. A player I love and definitely PC is Juan Pierre. I love you know guys that stole a lot of bases and those kinds of things, you know, like Ichiro and players like this. But th that's Juan Pierre. Fleer Autographics, so this was a, a set they were doing right around the year 2000. Got this super cheap on-card, I just thought that was awesome. 
um, Johnny Damon autograph. I pulled this one out of a box of 206 that I broke years ago. Um, I think I had a Pujos or a Bonds or something like that. I might have sold those, but the Johnny Damon I kept. Just kind of cool. Mini card in the frame. So that's that one. Pulled this one out of the archives. Luis Castillo. I don't know. I'm going to keep this one. Just kind of neat. Ray Foss. Archives. Keep that one. One I bought on eBay a while ago. Cindy Alomar. This is one of those, uh, you know, reissues from Tops. Really neat. So, got that one. Jose Vidro. On card. Retro Tops. Expos. Again, when they were doing that um, 50th anniversary of the Expos in Archives. Um, Johnny Peralta. Tops 206. So not a lot of stars here at the end, but these are just cards that I'm keeping. I don't even know what's in here. These are, I think these I kept because they're both sealed Tops autos. Dennis Santana, Danny Jansen. So for some reason, I threw them in the box. I just kind of thought, well, if I had some that were in top loaders from tops, I just wasn't going to mess with them. So I figured I would just keep them. And I didn't want to break them out and put them in my autograph binder, which is kind of what I do with uh, the lower end ones, which I suppose I could probably do with Vidro, maybe, and Luis Castillo. But I'll have to decide that for another day. So check it out, uh, or thanks for checking it out. Um, you already checked it out. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, totally appreciate it. This is kind of a fun one to make, and I don't think I had ever shown those on camera. So I appreciate you checking in on the channel and watching. All right, take care.